Good morning, everyone. I'm Misty Giovanni, and I'm here to give you um, some information about the OSSLT and to answer some questions, hopefully, that you might have about the test, which will be beginning on Monday. So I have a brief presentation for you. It's a ministry mandated assessment that tests reading and writing skills. And most importantly, it is a graduation requirement. When are you writing the test? The test is taking place November 28th to December 5th. It is not on one day. You will be assigned a day to write. Your grade 10 students will be notified by their teacher and grade 11 and 12 students will receive an email. I have personally emailed all senior students with your writing date. Where are you writing the test? We will be using the library, otherwise known as the Learning Commons. The library desktop computers and additional laptops will be used as this test is entirely online on a computer. How long is the test? The test is comprised of two sessions. Each session is 60 minutes long. There is a 15 minute break in between each session. And what is the format of the test? So as I said, the test is fully online. You will be using school computers or netbooks to complete the test. You will log in using your OEN number, which is found well, not in my path. My path does not exist anymore. It's found in Aspen. So if you look at one of your report cards or in Aspen, you should see your OEN number. It's really important to have that number for you uh, when you go into the test because the government knows you as your OEN number, not as your name. There will be an introductory session or minds on where it just gives you a brief introduction to the test and to the theme of the test. Then you will write session A, which is 60 minutes. You will have a 15 minute break. And then you will write section B, session B, which is 60 minutes as well. And then at the end, there is a brief questionnaire. So the format of the test. So the first part of the test involves a real life narrative with seven multiple choice questions. A narrative is basically just a story. Then you will have an information paragraph, also with multiple choice questions. Then you have session, then you have a news report, which is in past years you had to write a news report. That is no longer part of the test. You will actually get have to read a news report and answer some multiple choice questions and an open response of 100 words. Session B. You have a dialogue, which is a conversation that you have to read, and there are five multiple choice questions. Then there are, there are some questions about writing and editing skills. So questions about how you would change uh, a sentence, what would make the best opening sentence or closing sentence, uh, why would you need a hyphen in a situation, things like that, things that are grammar based and sentence structure based. And lastly is the longest part of the test, which is the opinion piece. It is a 500 word multi-paragraph response. Opinion pieces are based on questions that are pretty open-ended and you have to state your opinion and write about that in proper paragraph form. Is the test difficult? The test should not be difficult for you. It is based on expectations from the grade nine curriculum. So as long as you've completed at least one grade nine course, you should find the test to be pretty uh, acceptable or pretty appropriate for your level. Often people ask, what should I do if I run out of time? Well, the test is designed to give students ample time to complete all sections. Students with an IEP and it, or an ELL designation are entitled to accommodations. Additional time will be provided to anyone who needs it, however. So you don't have to worry if you need some extra time. Another great aspect to having an online test or a great advantage to having this online test is that there are many special features 
that you can use for help. So there's a listen function if you want to bring um, headphones. You can zoom in and out. Actually, we will be providing headphones for those who want it. You can zoom in and out. There's a line reader where you can just focus on the line that you're actually reading. There's high contrast mode. There's a, you can do a text box. It'll give you a word count. You can split the screen, which I highly recommend. So you can have the a selection that you're reading on one side and the questions on the other side. You can, there are annotation tools such as highlighters, etc. There's a progress bar that tells you how far along you are on the test. There's a section for rough notes. You can flag a question and go back to it. There's so many valuable tools that will help you with the test. Many students often ask, what happens if you fail the test? Well, if you are in grade 10, you will have a, an opportunity to retake the test. You should enroll in the OLC course in grade 12 to complete the literacy requirements for graduation if you do not uh, succeed on the test the second time around. Many students often ask, what if I'm absent on my designated day? If you know you will be absent for an appointment or school event, for example, please let us know in advance so we can move you to another date in our test administration window. We will do our best to accommodate you, but please make every effort to be there on your designated day. This is an important graduation requirement, so it should take precedence over many events. Those who are absent will be considered unsuccessful and will have to attempt the test next year or in the spring. When will I get my results? Well, tests are marked by EQAO, so they are submitted electronically and sent off to EQAO uh, based in Toronto. Previously, it would take a couple of months for the results to come in, so it, it, has, it, it will take a couple of months, so hopefully we'll know in the next few months and we will keep you informed and let you know when the reports are available with the results. So what can you do to prepare? Your best resource is the OSSLT prep site on LMS. Everyone has access to this no matter what grade you are in. It contains tips, videos, and a practice test from EQAO that looks exactly like the real test. It is modeled on the real test and it's a great resource to have to practice. So who do you ask if you have questions? You can ask your guidance counselor. You can ask your resource teacher if you have an IEP. You can come and see me in Student Success. You can talk to Ms. Danielowitz if you are an ELL student. And you can ask Mr. Juba if you have any questions about the overall administration or organization of the test. Ms. Jillia is also another resource for you. And just to conclude, I just wanted to say that I will be coming on again on Friday just to give you some final tips about uh, how to handle the test and for certain sections of the test. So that will hopefully be useful for you as well. In the meantime, I strongly recommend that you check out the OSSLT prep site on LMS and please see us if you have any questions. Thank you.